Darwin is the hub for Indigenous art in Australia. It's where everyone should come to see the best art in the country. My name is Frances Grant. I'm an Indigenous arts consultant. I've been working in the industry for about 10 years. So I got interested in Indigenous art through working in art therapy with Indigenous preschools in New South Wales and through seeing some really amazing exhibitions. I think this is where everything's really happening. It's the centre of Indigenous art in the country and it's where you need to be if you want to work in Indigenous art. So in Darwin you've got commercial galleries and more touristy galleries where you can go in and buy something to take home when you're on a holiday like Aboriginal Bush Traders or Sister Seven. At Aboriginal Bush Traders, it's an Aboriginal corporation that owns that, so you know money is going back to Indigenous people. They have a really strong focus on weaving workshops and demonstrations. Sylvia Nupaldidge is their main weaver there and she takes you through the whole process of pandanus weaving and dyeing and shows you how baskets, earrings, fish traps, all of that is made. So Sister Seven only works with female Indigenous artists. They have a lot of paintings and women come there to paint and they also have weavings, jewellery, books and textiles as well. Paul Johnston Gallery and Outstation Gallery are both members of the Indigenous Art Code and they stock work by amazing contemporary artists whose work will challenge you to see so much more than just dot painting. The Indigenous Art Code is something that galleries sign up to, which investigates galleries and checks that they're ethical. If a gallery doesn't have that Indigenous Art Code certification, then they might not be an ethical place to buy art. The Museum and Art Gallery of the Northern Territory does what it says in the title. It's a museum but also an art gallery, so they've got an amazing range of work you just wouldn't see anywhere else. Darwin is full of amazing street art. They've really focused on it for the past couple of years and with the development of the Darwin Street Art Festival, which has seen lots of awesome artists come here and paint cool things. Darwin is a really unique creative city and the street art really brings the city to life. If you want to see some art after dark, Bruce Munro's Tropical Light installation is on during the tropical summer season. It's great to see artists being given such big canvases to express themselves on. From non-Indigenous art to Indigenous art to street art, all the best work is here. I'm Frances Grant and this is my guide to Darwin's art scene.